you know there's a saying that jack of all trades master of none really they want you to be master of all trades that's really what this is wait let's back up hi again you might be wondering what is it that the recruiters want in a data analyst so i printed out three job ads and i'm going to go through these three app job advertisements so that we can understand really what is it that they're expecting from a data analyst these three jobs are in three different geographies one in hyderabad one in columbus and one in wellington i'll tell you why i picked these three locations towards the end of the video let's start The first job that I have for you is a HR data analyst job for Amazon in Hyderabad, India. Let's just read the job description. We are looking for a hands-on, detail-oriented and highly motivated HR data analyst to help create data-backed insight, publish periodic reports and simplify process in CS India HR team. And then they got into a few more details. But again, I think that alone gives us a indication of what is it that they're expecting from you let's read some of the key responsibilities work closely with hr business partners operations leaders and stakeholders to understand business requirements and work on solutions to ensure business questions are properly answered that is the key there that you as a data analyst would be working very closely with different parts of the business so that's what a business partner is uh, they are the interface between HR and the rest of the organization and you will be basically building solutions or answering questions. Reporting of key insight trends using analytical rigor to simplify and inform larger team of noteworthy storylines. So this is again one of the key things that as a data analyst you would be doing, figuring out what the story is from the data and then bringing it forward to the attention. Generate intuitive reports and in visualization tools like Excel, QuickSight, SQL, Tableau, etc. Again, this is like a wide spectrum of knowledge they're expecting from you, but this is not unusual. Like all my data analyst jobs that I have done, uh, I have always used a combination of tools. Primarily, the tool could be either Excel or Power BI or SAS but there is a whole bunch of secondary tools that I would be using in those jobs and that same thing is appearing here as well. So many times as a data analyst when you are upskilling or when you are figuring out what to learn, um, we get kind of hung up on this versus that mentality whereas you can see right here in this job ad that they are not really asking you to be good in one but a collection of different things. Ba basic qualifications. 3 plus years experience in HR or a related field and high proficiency in usage of Excel to create models, process data, use formulae to simplify, ability to deploy macros to automate processes. Even though they didn't say VBA early on, you can see here that uh, you know you should be able to automate processes. So this could be VBA, it could be Power Query or something else for that matter. Um, but you know this is very clear proficiency in using SQL queries creating quick site dashboards and ability to create micro sites to help in automation and decentralization of the reports I'm not familiar with the quick site but uh, by the sound of it it kind of sounds like another business intelligence application similar to Power BI so again using SQL to get the data and then building the reports and setting up workspaces and shared work sites so others can read what you want to put your building. So that's the first job in Hyderabad for HR um, data analyst with Amazon. Let's take a look at the next one. So this next job is a senior analyst data analytics for the Victoria's Secret in Columbus, Ohio. Position summary. The senior analytics analyst is an analytics expert of the Victoria's Secret and Co-Enterprise Analytics Department. That's a lot of analytics right in the first sentence. The individual must be able to work independently, relying on their knowledge of our business and data to create analyses that give insight and direction to our business. If, if you notice the sentence itself, the very first sentence between the Amazon job that is published all the way in India and this one all the way in US, 
this first sentence is exactly similar they're asking you that you should be able to build some analysis and understand their business and help them make decisions that in a nutshell is what a data analyst is expected to do understand what your business is all about use the data and help people make decisions as SAS SQL Excel R Python and digital analytics tools will be used daily again you can see that a parallel between the Amazon job and this one you're expected to not use a single tool but a collection of tools and this is really important to be a good data analyst you should build a portfolio of familiarity and understanding of different data platforms and tools so while as as a as an individual i like excel and power bi when it comes to working with data platforms i'm pretty open with anything really so like i said in my previous jobs i have used a bunch of different tools and you know many of these are quite common in in a data analysis role for many business questions it will be required to extract the information from the enterprise data mart using sql transform and summarize that information with sql sas export and finalize the analysis within excel and then share the communicate results via powerpoint excel and email summarization or in person so again a whole spectrum of different tools start your journey with the data mart and sql make your reports then get the further thing into excel and do further more analysis then make a presentation or an email and then go and talk to the person explain how to improve a particular process or make a better decision really important bits there and then they go into more detail here uh, you can check this one out i'll put a, a word document of the job description there because by the time you watch this video chances are these jobs would have been long filled or expired and then i actually went into their website to understand a little bit more about this job description many times when you see a job ad and you feel interested this is one of the pro tips you may want to check out the company website and read the job advertisement on their website as well so for example you might find a job ad on linkedin but if you follow the company website link and go there you will find that sometimes they might include a bit more detail on their websites so in this case they have put some extra things like qualifications this is something again many people wonder like what is it that you the companies expect uh, me to have as a qualification you know should i have certifications what sort of degree etc so for the victorious thing um, bachelor's degree in analytical or related field advanced degree preferred masters or mba so this is a little bit surprise but uh, i guess for a senior level position where you are talking to the chief executive of the company telling them how to do their job a senior level degree will go a long way in kind of giving you that polished edge knowledge of statistical concepts such as regression significance testing etc so this is again very very important not just the basic statistics but uh, be able to really understand uh, the depths of some of the more complicated things skilled in sas sql r python and excel strong interpersonal and communication skills including influence and leader engagement so influence is another keyword with your presentations with your data analysis you should be able to influence decisions and this is where uh, having that sort of uh, making the right type of analysis producing correct charts and um, making sure that the right bits of information are highlighted or brought forth is really important so that's our second job let's go to the third one which is in wellington new zealand so this one is for senior data analysis senior data analyst with the department of internal affairs in wellington new zealand it's a government organization the key things that you will be doing is deliver analytical support and advice contribute to real outcomes for new zealand new zealanders strengthen your skills in a collaborative and supportive team environment again you can see that the first paragraph itself clearly makes it what is it that you're expected uh, you're supposed to provide analytical support and advice and contribute to the government ministry's objective to succeed in this role you will have so this is what they are expecting from you experience in working with numbers and providing analytical support great excel and power bi skills no mincing the words here second bullet point itself is that you should be great with excel and power bi so um, as you can see all these three jobs i just randomly pulled them out i didn't really search for excel jobs or anything i searched for data analyst uh, and we can see that 
uh, even like a, a, an average job, people are expecting you to have Excel skills. So learning Excel can go a long way in having a successful data analyst career. Experience in SQL would be beneficial. Again, um, all three places, they seem to be interested in SQL. This is because in majority of corporate situations, the data is kept in a relational database and SQL is the only way to get the data out. So you will have to have that SQL skills. Uh, there's a few more items here. As I said, I will put these job descriptions in a Word document and put them out there for you to read through. Uh, but I, as I mentioned earlier, I went to their website to get a little bit more of what is it that they're expected, expecting from this. So the skills item is not part of the job listing, but it is on their website. Um, and I'm going to read through this. Advanced Excel skills, experience in IT tools such as BBA, SQL, DAX, R, SAS or Access. Again, a whole collection of tools, different tools, right? All of these. VBA is for automating stuff, SQL for queries, DAX for creating calculations in Power Pivot, R for programming, SAS for building reports and Access for databases. But they're expecting you to have full knowledge of all of these things. Excellent communication skills, written and oral, able to communicate with credibility and convey complex information to a variety of audiences. This is a really important uh, success factor if you want to be a good data analyst, you should be able to communicate very well. And this is something that you don't kind of start having on the day one, but I want you to kind of have this at the back of your mind and cultivate this skill throughout your career. So build your communication skills, test out different ways of explaining things and different ways of building reports and charts and presentations and evolve uh, because that can go a very long way in having a very fruitful and successful career. So those are the three job advertisements and we can kind of draw several parallels between all of them. Number one, expectation that you will have knowledge in different tools, not just a single tool. So, you know, there's a saying that jack of all trades, master of none. Really, they want you to be master of all trades. That's really what this is. The second thing is they want you to have solid understanding of the business background. So whether you're doing HR job, HR data analyst job with Amazon or the retail analyst job with the Victoria or the government job here, uh, the expectation that you have that sort of a background or understanding of what happens in the business is really important. And the third thing is having good communication skills. And this is just not mean talking and explaining, but also being able to take your data come up with valuable insights and then communicate. So that whole journey is what they're expecting from you. Now, if you're wondering why did I pick these three jobs, um, there, there is a good reason for that. Um, these three cities, Hyderabad, Columbus and Wellington are the three cities in which I worked as well. When I started my career, I initially worked in Chennai, uh, but also a little bit in Hyderabad. Then I moved to Columbus, Ohio, and I worked there as a business analyst for a year. And then finally, right now, I'm living in Wellington, New Zealand. So I thought, you know, I'll pick uh, three cities from my life journey uh, and then look at what kind of jobs are being advertised there and what is it that they're asking for. So if you are looking for a job, I wish you all the very best, <laughs> whichever city you might be looking for, not just three, three cities. And I hope this gave you some idea of what is valuable and what is relevant for making a successful application and getting the job. If you are looking to get a little bit more insight onto the skills that you need as a data analyst, check out uh, this video that is shown on the screen. It will give you the five skills that you need to be a great data analyst. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you again somewhere else. Bye-bye.